agent status terminated. Authorization invalid. What? Terminated? Maybe I can force it open with a computer. This computer? Analyzing data. Oh, good. No! Let me, let me, let me, let me. Oh, God. No, why? No. Oh, why? Why do you do this to me? No, you, you don't see me. Oh, God. Oh, God. It made its own door. That thing used its light. Okay. <laughs> Leslie. Okay. Come on. <gasps> what? This is from before. Leslie, is he really here? He might be. Leslie is here. Okay, I gotta get to him before anything else does. Four hour surveillance. Okay. What the world is that? God. <gasps> okay. Can we break that? No. I see you down there. No. Kidman. Foolish. Whoa. Music and the like sound effects and whatnot are a little disturbing. Hey look, there's another thingy. And it had rotated. 
but I don't have the code. Twenty one. on 21. They're all 21. 16. No. Hmm. So it's 21, 16 something. I guess 16 might be the, uh, yeah, 21 might be the red one, 16 is the yellow. Gotta find what the third one is. Or, if we know two of them. <laughs> then it's got to be one of these numbers. There it is. Okay. <clears throat> letter scrap two. Okay. So the first letter scrap must have been in that other thing, and I didn't know what I was doing to be able to figure out how to, how to find that, but... be able to go back and do it, probably, maybe. Hmm. I wish I had a weapon. I wish I had a weapon. It wasn't one of these bottles. I guess in a pinch I'll take a bottle over nothing at all. It gives me bottles. You don't see anything. Research room keycard.
Can I? Can I kill this guy? That was not good. Okay, so I could lure them in there. Or die. Because that's about... Yep. Yeah. Good job. So you can't kill them. We've established that you cannot kill them. Ah, <sighs> dear. want to do that. Really didn't want to do that. Alright, well, maybe he'll get distracted over there. bottles everywhere Don't see anything. Alright, alright, alright. Can we lock you in there? Yes, we can. Good job. Ha! Where are we trying to get to? This door behind you. Really, it's locked. Oh, it's got the. Oh, God. Oh, God. Good work. Good work there. Oh, 
So, you asshole. Must you? <laughs> yes. Go for it, buddy. Let's get out of here, please. Like a wall that will do something? No. Hmm. Okay. Obviously, we can't go through here. Okay. Why don't I have a weapon? This is dumb. going through here and like I get that it's supposed to be tense and oh you only have a flashlight and they can kill you and this and that but like come on the air feels so heavy in here why must we be crippled of secret subterfuge and indoctrination. They brought me into their fold. This place is elaborate, to say the least. Despite the modernistic visage, the research they've been doing here seems to date back to over a century ago. This place has history, and from what I can grasp, this facility is only one branch of many. Institutions, powerful families, their reach seems grand and therefore the possibilities for me seem equally as rich. Clearly my own unique methods at Beacon have piqued their interest, and I am most grateful for the opportunity. 
Most of what the researchers have been working on, however, seems archaic by today's standards. Uh, they told me budget is of no concern. Results are the only thing that matter. Juggling duties here and at the hospital seems manageable, but Reuben, comparatively insignificant, but even at his young age, his studies are remarkable. Perhaps one day he will even assist me with my work here. Perhaps one day he'll kill you and be a general turd. Negotiation, Dr. Jimenez. We are expected to reach a solution, hence the founding of this facility. I understand that, and I, I appreciate the time you've given me. Time has a limit, and we're approaching that point. If you've outspent your usefulness, we will need to find someone more suitable. Let's not be so hasty. I've done tests with our visual diagnosis, and there is something I must speak to you about. Please, come with me. The projector is in the next room. Okay. Uh, what's this? Can't break glass. Apparently. It's my hypothesis that we haven't succeeded because so far we've only been using visuals, audio stimuli, passive influence, even on my patients with limited mental capacity. This method is rejected by the user. If we are to accomplish what we intend, we will need to refocus. We need direct access. And what do you propose? It's, how shall I say, a pet project of sorts, a mechochemical process. With it, we should be able to have a direct influence on the individual, potentially even access their subconscious. I have the data in the next room. Let me show you. That video, I remember they showed me that when I was brought here. Oh, good. Well, we're not screwed at all. Sounds like a messed up version of uh, Claire de Lune from Sebastian's heart. Really 
tell me anything except that I don't like all the sound effects. I don't like them. Oh dear. Just showing how he put them in the tanks. Like suspending them in the chemicals somehow. Does what they want. supposed to or There we go. Yep, there's the machine. There's research here. This is exactly what we've been looking for. I call it STEM. I'm sure you and your superiors will find this most satisfactory. You mentioned the design was from a pupil of yours. And in that case, where do you fit in? He is an unstable individual. Perhaps it is better that I continue to be the one to contact in this situation. I'd like you to bring this man in. We should all be able to have a productive conversation. What did you say his name was? Ruben. Ruben Victoriano. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Really? It just opened the door. Good. Oh my. Excuse me, can I go through this door? No. About this. 